time for that consideration. Question number 11, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of State Services and asks, what reports has he received on New Zealanders' satisfaction with public services? The Honourable Dr Jonathan Mr Conner. Speaker, later today I will be releasing the State Services Commission's Kiwis Count update, which measures New Zealanders' satisfaction with 42 frequently used public services across 10 service groups. I'm delighted to advise the House that New Zealanders' satisfaction with their public services has improved across the board. Each and every service group measured in 2009 and 2012 saw a satisfaction increase. The results, Mr Speaker, indicate that New Zealanders are more satisfied with the government's provision of health, education, justice, environment and recreation services, to name just a few. Yeah. Jackie Dean. Supplementary to the Minister, what does the survey indicate about the public's experience of frontline services? The Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, public oh, satisfaction the hasn't even... with frontline... I public... apologise to the Minister on both his... Both questions so far, he might even open his mouth before there was uh, unnecessary interjection. It's not reasonable. The Honourable, the Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, public satisfaction with frontline services is improving. For example, the survey shows that the public is more satisfied with the provision of superannuation, the quality of hospital emergency services, receiving outpatient care and the quality of services at the border. New Zealanders even reported higher levels of satisfaction in their interactions with the Inland Revenue Department. <laughs> Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what else does this survey indicate about what Kiwis value in their public services? The Honourable Dr Jonathan Speaker, Mr Speaker, the survey specifically indicates that the public places a high premium on value for taxpayer spend. The improvements in this area demonstrate that the government is delivering on its election commitment to provide better public services. This means a happy public, a happy government and an unhappy opposition. <laughs> Question number 12, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. Why is she proposing to close Salisbury Residential School in Nelson and Mackenzie Residential School in Christchurch? The Honourable Hecke 